What's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Armani Sinead. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a treasure bay. Period. Okay, y'all. So today I'll be showing you guys how I make my um, oatmeal soap the uh, using the melt and pour method. What you saw me put in the refrigerator was um, my oils and butters for my whipped body butter that I made in the previous video. I told you guys I made both of these videos the same day and I split them up so you know the video wouldn't be too long. So right here you see me sanitizing all of my um, equipment and materials that I'll be using. I wash everything after I finish but I go ahead and sanitize them before every use as well. So there I was showing you guys that I am using the white shea butter pre-made base. I'm not sure what, oh I know, I went to go look for the soap cutter and I actually had it right next to me y'all. So right here you just see me cutting the pre-made base up into chunks, it's easier to melt that way. You can melt the melt and pour base um, via the microwave or you can use the double pot method or you can use the little heater. Um, that I have plugged in over there the electric heater or warmer whatever you want to call it y'all saw that in my unboxing video I use that if I'm making more than um, one loaf of soap but today I only made that one loaf so I did use the microwave method this time So right here you see me measuring and um, cutting the clear base. If you want white, um, like if you're going to use white in your soap in the milk and pour, you definitely want to use a white base because it's it's white <laughs> and it'll be more, um, you'll get the white you're looking for um, granted when you're, I mean versus when you're trying to make clear soap white. So there I was just showing you the colors I was using for the soap. I only chose one of those browns. I used white and I used that gold mica from Mad Micas. So right here, you see me, I made oatmeal to it, put inside the soap. And then I am also adding colloidal oatmeal. And I purchased that from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And right there you see me adding the fragrance and yes i was measuring the fragrance too if you want if you want to know how much fragrance you're supposed to add to what each kind of soap if you go on um wholesale supplies plus when they have like a fragrance calculator and it'll tell you um how much fragrance you're supposed to add in your loaf of soap all you have to do is insert how much um soap you're making and then it'll tell you you know the amount of fragrance you're supposed to add to the soap so of course I made three I used three colors to make the soap so I divvied out the total amount of fragrance and, and put in each color so there you see me stick blending each color I added the fragrance and I added the oatmeal to the soap and I'm just taking the checking the temperatures if you guys are wondering where I got the digital thermometer from I got that off Amazon I want to say it was like $13 I also got that stick blender off of Amazon as well and you see how pretty that gold was y'all To be honest, this um, soap did not come out as like I wanted it to. Um, I'm trying to get better at making swirls in milk and pour. I'm really good when it comes to cold process soap, but I'm trying to get better when it comes to milk and pour soap. So, you know, you have to perfect your craft. And, you know, every day, every time you attempt, you know, it's just a learning lesson. So, but yeah, it didn't come out how I wanted it to. It didn't come out bad, but it didn't come out how I envisioned it <laughs> in my head. 
so and I'm so sorry you guys when I cut this soap I didn't even think about recording it I already um, cut the soap because this video is, is, is old I already cut the soap and I already shrink wrapped it at the label so it's already it's already up on my website you guys so if you guys want to see how it turned out you can go on jnotreasures.com and look up the oatmeal bars and that's how it came out the colors kind of mixed together it didn't it didn't come out how I wanted to you can't even really see the gold but um, I'm gonna try something different the next time I make mountain pour soap lately I've been doing the soaps with the chunks in it so I really like the way those look to be honest And here you just see me adding each color of the soap inside the soap mold. And I'm, I'm attempting to do swirls, but like I said, they didn't come out how I wanted to. But that's okay because next time, baby, it's going to come out exactly how I want it to watch. I'm speaking that into existence. So you guys I actually hit I have 212 subscribers now on YouTube so I will be doing a giveaway for that so please go ahead and follow JNR Treasures on Instagram so you can keep up to date when I do this giveaway and the directions and etc etc today which is not this day that I made this soap <laughs> today is a whole nother day I did the giveaway I chose the two winners for my um Instagram page hitting 300 followers so yeah go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you are not and please follow my lip gloss on um, page as well all of the information will be in a description box you guys and here I'm just adding oats on top of the soap self-explanatory um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it please subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed i hope y'all are staying safe and be blessed and right here i'm just cleaning up my mess i'm a poet didn't know it right here I think yeah I was getting ready to finish up with the whipped body butter y'all and then I was taking my product pictures <laughs> 